Back in 1998, Pixar was a couple months into development of Toy Story 2, the sequel to their massively successful first feature film. At the time, Pixar was run on a Unix environment where everybody had complete access across all directories, which means that everybody working on Toy Story 2 had access to every single file related to the movie. Normally, this would be fine because any smaller company operating in this way would just have their files backed up to a separate drive periodically in order to limit any potential damage. Apparently though, Pixar had recently been having trouble with their backup drive so the only saved copy of the work on Toy Story 2 was contained on their main machine. Which is why, when some employee doing a routine cleanup of files accidentally ran the deletion command on the entire directory, everybody thought their months of work were completely gone forever. However, Galen Sussman, the supervising technical director, saved the day. She was working from home on maternity leave at the time and Pixar sent her copies of the files to look over each week, which she had on her local machine. They were able to use that lucky backup copy to restore almost all the work that had been deleted. As the world becomes more and more virtualized, we rely and depend on software engineers to do everything from turning on our lights at home to handling complex stock transactions. A mistake like that in today's world could mean life or death for the user on the other end, which is why source code management is so important. It is the fast, reliable, and tireless performance of a variety of arithmetic and logical operations that gives the computer its great utility and power. Everybody is interested now in home computers. Mark is fascinated by the computer. He started designing programs when he was 11. Now he's already written 40 original programs. You take this, the program, on this tape cassette. You put it in the tape recorder. It feeds the information into the computer. The computer does what the program tells it. The next revolution in software design called object-oriented programming. I am perfectly serious when I suggest that one day we may have brain surgeons in Edinburgh, operating on patients in New Zealand. Source code management tools give development teams an easy way to securely back up their projects to the cloud. They can also give everybody access who needs access without worrying about files being deleted. That's Levi. He's a glorified Stack Overflow user. Hi, I'm Levi and I'm an iOS software engineer. Same thing. The most commonly used source code management tool is GitHub. GitHub allows teams to create secure projects, save work, have an entire history of that work, and manage file access across their team. Think of it like the modernized, feature-rich version of Galen's local machine. If GitHub had been around back in 1998, Pixar would never have run into the problem that they did because GitHub would have served as a backup of their project in the cloud. Every team member has a local copy of the project on their machine, but the project in the cloud on GitHub servers serves as the truth for the project. GitHub makes it incredibly difficult to accidentally remove everything. So in the Toy Story 2 instance, all the Pixar employee would have to do is pull down the source code from that source of all truth, and boom, everything is restored that they had accidentally deleted. Even if the employee had deleted something on GitHub, GitHub stores an entire history of all the changes that are made, so all they would have to do is go back to the state that they wanted to and restore it from there. Over 70 million people use GitHub as of 2021, with thousands of major corporations relying on the platform on a daily basis. Chances are, if you're gonna become a software engineer or developer of any capacity, you need to know GitHub or some other source code management tool. During my first years of college, I didn't really use GitHub all that much. All I knew was that it was a place to store files in the cloud. But the summer after my second year, I got an internship as an iOS software engineer and I had to learn GitHub really, really fast. I was constantly Googling commands and messed up a couple of my first projects. But my mentors at the company helped me out tremendously and explained some of the processes going on with GitHub. But it was definitely a moment where I had to take a step back and realize I need to learn this if I'm gonna be a software engineer. In GitHub, the projects are called repositories. A repository is basically like a directory or folder on the GitHub server that holds all of the child files and directories that make up your project. When a lot of engineers work in the same repository, oftentimes they're altering the same files as somebody else on their team. So it's oftentimes difficult to have a sense of truth of that file if multiple people are making changes to it. This parallel nature of software development often creates conflicts between files that need to be resolved in order for the code to run properly. All right, let's slow down for a second. To better explain this, let's think of a repository as a Word document that you and your friend both need to make changes to. Let's take a look at this sentence, for example. The goal of this report is to show the importance of GitHub. GitHub is a tool that software developers use. Since you're focusing on the first half of the sentence, this might be what your edit looks like. The motivation behind this report is to convey the importance of utilizing GitHub. 
GitHub is a tool that software developers use. While your friend's changes may look something like this, the goal of this report is to show the importance of GitHub, which is a cloud-based program used by software developers for source code management. In this example, the combination of these two edits into the final sentence would be, the motivation behind this report is to convey the importance of utilizing GitHub, which is a cloud-based program used by software developers for source code management. GitHub would essentially handle this combination automatically through branches. A branch is essentially a copy of all the current files in the project from the main branch. If you think of a tree, the trunk is what GitHub calls the main branch. A branch off of that trunk would be what a developer would use to create a new feature that they're working on. This new branch is separate of the main branch so the developer can do all the work that they need to without messing up anything else that anybody else is working on. Then when the developer is done with that feature, they merge it back into the main branch so that all the features are in the same place. So back to our sentence example, the main branch would be the original sentence. You would create a new branch off of that and work on the first half of the sentence. Maybe you go through multiple iterations, checking in with your other teammates and doing research to really nail down what you're working on. At the same time, your friend has their own branch where they can work on their part of the sentence and go through the same process without messing up your work. This parallel process is the main feature of GitHub. It's what allows big teams to work on the same project at the same time and develop all kinds of features for it at the same time without stepping on anybody else's toes. In order for that merge to take place, the developer would have to open what's called a pull request. And a pull request is basically what it sounds. They're requesting to pull their changes off of their feature branch back into the main branch, which would be the trunk in this case. And the process of opening a pull request typically involves the developer explaining the feature that they were working on, explaining how to test it, any changes that were made, any information that other developers would need to know. Then other developers on their team will look over their code, test it, and request any changes that they see fit. Then once all the changes have been approved, the developer can merge their changes back into the main branch. Back to the sentence example. Once your changes are done, you would open a pull request, or PR for short, and request a review from your other teammates. If your teammates approve, the sentence then changes to this on the main branch. The motivation behind this report is to convey the importance of utilizing GitHub. GitHub is a tool that software developers use. Your friend hasn't quite finished their changes yet, so once they pull in the most recent updates on the main branch into their separate branch, here's what they are left with. The motivation behind this report is to convey the importance of utilizing GitHub, which is a tool that software developers use. Your friend makes their final changes and also opens a PR with the following sentence. The motivation behind this report is to convey the importance of utilizing GitHub, which is a cloud-based program used by software developers for source code management. Once that is approved and merged in, your team's work is complete and your report is ready to submit to your teacher. Or in the case of software developers, the application's update is ready to be submitted. A lot can go wrong in software development. There's a lot of ways to mess up projects even when you are using GitHub, but GitHub and other source code management tools have become so integral to software development that it's hard to imagine what our field would look like without them. I think it's very fair to say that we would not have made such big strides in technology in the last decade without these tools. Applications continue to become more complex, teams continue to become more expansive and diverse, and ideas continue to become born and molded into life-changing applications. Our world today is so technologically advanced, but it's safe to say that this technological advancement will pale in comparison to what we have even 10 years from now. As these systems get more and more complex, the interactions between developers on teams will become even more vital. One incorrectly run deletion command could be the end to an entire project, but tools like GitHub relieve developers from worrying about messing up and enable them to do what they do best develop.